Hello and welcome again to TPM Software. We're now going to look at uh, the interaction between um, job costing and um, Sage. Now, Sage doesn't normally come with job costing unless you pay £640 currently for it, um, whereas you get it um, included with um, TPM Software. Now, as we knew uh, and seen earlier on, we're going to uh, job costing. Um, we look at job uh, costing one, which is in the system, which is all finished and um, prepared for Sage. So we'll just double click on that for a minute and it will take us in. And we know that um, this job was um, has been completed. So if we come out of there, close. Um, completion, and we come out of there and look at the amounts. That should be five six eight seventy, which is a net amount of sales. VAT is ninety eight twenty seven, and the actual um, gross would be six 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 ninety seven. So that's all ready for Sage as we speak. So we close that, close job costing, and we will now go into the Sage um, control panel and we will export job costing customers and invoices to Sage. Now, this uh, may seem a bit weird at first, but um, we as an agency will have to charge either the landlord or the tenant for the work done to replace the washing machine on Jai C1. So we have to treat the landlord now as a customer of ours, post him in as a customer and invoice him as a customer because he's due us um, the, the £666, uh, I think it was 96p. So if we do that now, which is button number 6, click on that, and uh, it will go through its routine. And as usual, it will come up and tell us to import into uh, job costing customer CSV into Sages customer records then import the file trans5 csv into sage as audit trail transactions so let's just do that begin to um, sage now this is how if you take a snapshot of that that is how the um, nominal ledger lay the company nominal ledger lay but we are now going to introduce um, some other VAT elements some other sales elements and some other um, debtors control elements so begin to um, file import and we'll close all um, open um, windows and we're going to import the job as a customer record so we we'll run that we we'll go into my computer again into D drive data files and we've now got job costing customers so double click on job costing customers and it certainly is lands landlord Smith we have done this work for close that audit trail transactions run again my computer again D drive again data and it's trans5 and that's the the job and now the nominal code if you look there is 4009 not 401 4001 or 2 but 4009 so if we close that and close so if we go back to um, our main system and go into customers now we can now see in the sales ledger that we've got landlord smith I begin to landlord smith he's now due a balance of 666 oh sorry 97 not 96 uh, double click that no terms agreed as yet um, all his details are in um, we're going to activity and it's at Landlord Smith is in our sales ledger under JC1 16 Hockhill plays for plumbing fault in wa washing machine which came from obviously the um, JC1 and TPM so there we go all the relevant details there it's a sales invoice 
the date when the job was complete was the 9th of the 11th and the um, total amount was 666.97 close that go into um, suppliers that doesn't enter um, landlord smith's balance at all go into um, bank, the bank still remains the same at £94 go into um, company and uh, search for any balances greater than zero apply close that and what we've got now is a 4009 in our nominal accounts so 56870 um, being the actual net amount now because um, this is this attracted sales tax the actual sales tax has gone up um, 215.77 so we should have um, a debtors control account which is um, here not there sorry <laughs> um, six. there it's there 1100 couldn't see it for looking at there 1100-666-97 so this all equates and balances evenly so that's the three um, nominal codes that TPM uses and is instructed Sage to import into let's leave that so you can see it for a minute so in actual fact our um, profit and loss will be up um, against the last time we've seen it um, via by 56870 and if we um, receive this money which is due by landlord Smith so we begin to bank and the bank car account sitting at 94 pounds but if we say um, a customer receipt and it's account um, Smith okay and we'll see the date was the um, 9th of the 11th 10 and the reference um, you could put anything you like in there but we've got all the references required you may get a check by uh, landlord smith so you put a check number or a, a direct debit number uh, 4567 and if we go and receive this amount automatically our bank balance has now went up to from £94 to I'll just move that over for you £94 to seven sixty ninety seven. of course we've got all the details in there again from TPM and we would save that transaction and that would be it saved close we'll now see our bank account in detail we go into it I'll just move this again and activity and sales receipt 666.97 so and our suppliers account still the same customers account of course landlord smith has paid us we're going to um, bank let's pick this up a bit and if we're going to um, excuse me a minute um, company and we're going to company and financials and we're going to a profit and loss now we should see a, a healthier profit now and it's of course still November and we have got product sales now of 14670 uh, purchase is still 720 and our profit and loss now has went up to 74870 and this obviously will be um, seen in the balance sheet as well preview that November ok and again still we'll get that um, debtors control account which is our £800 um, that we've got to move and our £117.50 we've got to move into any account we wish 
and of course the bank accounts went up the 800 pounds will be will diminish when we move the 800 pounds that tends uh, to go into a savings account or an investment account or indeed a, um, a, a bank control account in sage and our made a healthy profit there of some hundred and forty eight pounds seventy and if we run our VAT report now we will be due to VAT man even more money as usual so we go the first of November and we'll just calculate it at that there's three transactions now and there we go and we're now due to VAT man 129.77 And of course, that was the the job costing invoice. Close. So, therefore, all these transactions from TPM going seamlessly into Sage saves you time as a company, time and money. Uh, no real hard work by um, your staff, and of course, the company has at the end of each month or any time really that you run the um, SAGE control panel and import into SAGE a real hold on whether you as an agency or you as a landlord is making real money or not. So thank you.